Okay, welcome to the channel guys. So in this video, I'm excited to talk about DNS dumpster. So DNS dumpster is one of the tools you use if you're doing footprinting using DNS. Footprinting of course just means finding um, information, especially information about uh, devices like uh, what operating systems they're using. So if you've got a domain name, okay, and I advise for all of these tutorials that have to do with cyber security, that you try it on your own networks. Okay, try it on your own networks, try it on your own websites, on your own web servers. Okay, so DNS dumpster will find DNS related information and then use that to query and further find information that's not even DNS related. So you can use it to find name server records, of course, but you can find mail server records, IP addresses, subdomains, and so on and so forth. In this, in this tutorial on my website, so the link of course will be in the, in the description. I show pretty much how you could find quite a number of different things. But here I'll show using a simple site. So because my website is small, I can simply search for swishy.com, right? It's a small, it's a small website, right? So when I search for it here, you can see where the IP is coming from. You can see it's it's hosted by Orange Host, right, and Cloudflare Net. Okay, so this is because it's passing through Cloudflare for uh, denial of service prevention or mitigation. Uh, but Orange Host is my is my uh, hosting company, right? So you can see where it's hosted, right? The IPs are from the United States. Right, and then if you go if you go down further, you see that it will give you the DNS servers, the name servers. So these are things normally if you are using NS lookup, you would have said set type equals NS, so that you find the IP addresses of the DNS servers that are being used to translate the name. Okay, again, when 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 doing cybersecurity, this is information that could be useful for mail exchange. So for People that are sending me emails, so if you, you could send me an email on uh, info at swishy.com, this is the website, this is the mail server that's 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 responsible for that. Then of course the text records that are there, so it can find things like that. Then it also maps out the domain name, seeing how the different IPs send traffic to each other, right, and all the way up to the the domain name itself. So. This is a very simple site, so it, it, it of course doesn't show much, right? But um, it, it gives you an idea as to the kind of information DNS dumpster can give you, right? And um, in this case, um, if you were here, you could actually see, if you, if, you, if you tried it out, especially on a large site, uh, let's say google.com, okay? You, you, could, you could find a whole lot more information, including so the several servers, uh, the ports that might be open uh, on each one. So you can see here web, okay, uh, zone transfers are possible, okay, IP tracing. You can you can you can click here it, that it traces the the path to to that right, finding hosts and several other things, finding banners, right, the 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 names of uh, uh, services behind that, right? But uh, yeah, some of these links don't seem to be active. But generally, um, that's what it's used for. So when you search through information like this, okay, you see the the A records, the IP version for addresses within the Google network. So different machines, the machine name, the IP address, right? And then you'd see uh, quite a number of them. If you have Quad A, then you have the IP version six results. And you see for something as large as Google, when you map out the domain on how everything is uh, coming back to the Google search itself, you can see there's quite a lot of machines in there coming down to the Google search uh, itself. So that's pretty much what DNS Dumpster is used for. It's, uh, it's quite a handy tool if you've got a website, if you've got a domain that you're trying to um, enumerate, trying to learn about. It's one of the best tools that you can use. So if you found this useful, please like the video, leave a comment as usual. Um, you can of course read more about it uh, on my website. I gave specific examples 
using a specific domain name I hid out the rest of the things because again I use this uh, so I didn't want to expose uh, a lot of the IPs that I use but you can read about it and um, it will help you understand uh, what you can what you can do with this too so uh, thank you for watching have a good day